What's going on everybody? How's it going out there? Peter Karunas here with Shopbox and in this video we're going to be spotlighting a particular product that I've created in Shopbox that I hope will answer a lot of the questions out there on how to program and how to actually get a product for digital prints on substrates. You're going to have to stay tuned to check it out. All right, so let's get into it, shall we? We're going to start with a, I think it's probably best that we start with something small and kind of work our way to another type of project so I could show you the um, the different parts of this product. You can actually use it for smaller end products. You can actually use it for higher end products. So let's get right into it. So first and foremost, we're going to type in substrate. That'll be the key identifier word here. So it's going to come up here as a product digital print on substrate. Okay. So what I have here is first, we'll talk about the picture. I have a photograph that I found from some website that best identifies with what the materials are. It's a one image here that kind of tells you whether it's gator foam, aluminum, dye bond, uh, corrugated plastic, uh, foam core, etc. All right, so like everything in our business, everything is basically based off of square footage. So we start with the uh, the actual size of the sign. So um, actually, before we start with that, let's actually put in what we're going to do. So we're going to actually write here in this description a 24-inch by 36-inch uh, interior Sintra poster. Okay, so that for those of you that's going to be, you know, a digital print, uh, we'll choose to laminate it, um, and it's going to be mounted to eighth inch Sintra. Uh, you could do quarter inch, you could do half inch, you can do uh, polystyrene, but in this particular example, this is a common item for our our shops, and uh, let's uh, I think this is a great example for how to start. All right, so we'll put in the height here is thirty six, uh, but the width is twenty four and nothing charges yet. We have a $20 minimum, so that's why the $20 is here, okay? So we'll start with the first couple of bubbles here. You, is it a rush? We'll say no for now. Do we need a permit? No, we don't need a permit for a sign like this. Is it double-sided? That would That's gonna be interesting. We'll come back to that, and are we removing a sign? And uh, we're not. So under the first drop down here is our ink. So we have our different type of ink speeds that correlate to our everyday shop. So we have our standard printing, uh, we have high quality, we have double strike for those clear prints, and we also have triple strike for those clear prints with a lot of dark colors. So we'll just use regular standard printing here. But um, you can also add a high speed, you know, for a little bit more of an affordable price there, but uh, we our shop doesn't print on high speed. Selecting, moving on down here, we'll select the vinyl here. Uh, we have a lot of different options, glossy, matte, permanent, removable, clear. Uh, we have bubble free. We have bubble free, bubble free in various different finishes, gloss, must, luster, matte finish. We also have our Avery vinyls here, our 900, our 700 series, our metallics, our translucents, just in case we're printing on those materials as well. Uh, but for this uh, for this example, we're just going to print on our regular 3320 Avery here. Okay, and we're going to choose to laminate it. So what we'll do is we'll go with our matte laminate to go with our matte vinyl. Uh, our Avery 2080 here is a good selection. Now, we're, we actually have a price here, 5850 um, for our digital print. We could stop right here if we'd like. Uh, because this product is very versatile, you can just do digital prints if you'd like. But because we're going to put it on in, uh, a 2 by 3 sheet of Sintra here, we're going to have to select the Sintra. So from this drop down, as you can see, we've got many different pictures here to identify the particular substrate, just in case you have those employees who are not familiar with what the terminology is. Yes, we all know what aluminum is, but you'd be surprised what, how many people actually could tell the difference between aluminum and steel. So we're going to actually show a picture of it and at the different thicknesses as well. 
Um, so as we scroll down here, we got dive bomb. We got uh, we have a steel sheeting. We have magnetic sheeting. Uh, we have our plexiglasses, and here we are coming down to our Sintra. Everything is in alphabetical order. So we'll because it's a, because of its size, a two by three. We only need a four by eight sheet, and that price for a four by eight sheet is a lot different from a four by ten sheet at the same thickness. So we'll select the four by eight sheet of Sintra, and then our price changes to one hundred dollars and twenty cents. We have a couple of accessory drop downs here, which we'll cover in a minute. Okay, and do you need holes drilled? Uh, you have your options for the top and bottom, the corners, the top corners. So if this was a two by three Sintra sign for a real estate agent uh, to hang uh, from a uh, for sale sign on the street, this might be a good option to put in the top and bottom centers or in the corners here. Uh, but because we need a cut here, we're going to choose standard cutting. Okay. And uh, depending on your shop, it is optional here. I programmed this to be optional that you can select your hourly rate. If this was something a little bit more complex and you needed some production time into the project, you can choose your hourly shop rate. Now, I have a few different hourly shop rates here depending on the customers. I chose to do it this way. You can give a wholesale rate. You, I, I had a a franchisee rate as well and you can also offer a discounted rate on your hourly production rate if you wanted to but for now we're not going to choose anything here uh, is it going to be installed again this is optional and if it was going to be installed you can have your drop down selections with one guy one guy and a helper two guys in a bucket truck two guys with a transport vehicle and a bucket truck and those will offer you different installation rates and then you have your custom fields your questions here that we will ask um, going forward. So the very first question that you're going to have your CSRs, your customer service representatives, your sign makers, your general managers, whoever is actually taking in the order here, these are the questions that you want them to ask your customer. Intended lifespan, we're going to say one to three years. Intended use, we're going to say it's outside use. And mounting style, this is going to go, uh, let's see, this is going to go on exterior wall. All right. So we're going to hit save here. And obviously, it's going to take us to our build materials page. But because it's just a simple print and there's nothing really else to it, uh, I just want to bring your attention to it tells you what our retail price is. It's going to tell us what our cost is. It's also going to tell us uh, what our markup is on this particular uh, selection here, a 2 by 3 cincher sign with digital print and lamination. So we could be we could be done right there and offer this customer the estimate. And as you can see, the the product is built out so that you do not have to fill out anything else in this field. It tells you all of the specifics that you want your customer to know. A two by three Sintra sign on standard printing with standard cutting, and it gives you all of the answers to the questions that you asked. So you could be done here and you could charge the customer with tax $102.70. So obviously, my, I don't have tax here being calculated, but in your shops, you probably will. Moving forward, I think it's important to show you some other examples with this particular product. Let's actually do something a little bit more interesting here. So we're going to click on the same product and we're going to go back in here and do a substrate. And this time we're going to do a post and panel sign, a double sided post and panel sign. So let's type that in here. We're going to do a double sided four by eight post and panel sign. All righty. So we're going to type in 48 inches by 96 inches. We're going to actually select double sided here. Actually, let's leave that off for a second. So how are we going to make this? It's going to offer us the same questions. How would we like to make this? There's many different ways to make a post and panel sign. So in this example, I think it's probably best that we'll use a outdoor PVC or outdoor coma cell um, with two uh, wood posts just to make it simple. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to hit standard printing again. We're going to print this on this. You know what? Let's do a gloss vinyl this time. 
and we'll use a gloss laminate as well, our 2060 Avery. Here, we'll pick our coma cell. Now, we have our coma cell, and we have half inch, we have three quarter, we have one inch. Um, we'll use one inch, I think, is a good example. Many of you are using one inches out there, so I think that's a great example to use. Okay, so now our current price is 537 and right now we only are printing on a 4x8 single-sided on a sheet of Comacell. And we're at 537. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on double-sided. And you see the number changed to 724. I have it programmed right now that it's going to increase a percentage point based off of the original total price of our selection. So we're going to keep it at that. Just simply clicking on double sided will give us a 724 number. And now we have to add on some accessories. So we're going to go all the way down to the bottom here. I got a ton here. We have ball caps. We have divider bars, angle, uh, aluminum poles, U-channel posts. If it's going to go on a U-channel post, you could do that as well. Plastic zip ties, everything that you could possibly think of for a particular substrate is here. And I'm sure you could probably think of some more. But in this particular particular example, all we're going to do is select wood post. Okay. And I also have another one here. We're going to select wood post again because we're going to need two of them. And there's an easier way to do that. Actually, let's kind of go back here and let's just go into picking um, a ball cap. I think that might be better. We'll do that way. We'll do it that way. So we're going to select ball cap. And again, you have your pictures of what they look like. Your wood posts. Your ball cap. If you wanted to see what a different ball cap might look like, uh, you have a gothic cap here, and you have your flat caps, your easel backs, your Princeton caps, which I like a lot. There you go. There's your Princeton cap. You can also select your gothic cap again, and you'll see that version as well. I actually think this one's nice, so let's let's stick with that one there. All right, how do you need this cut? We're gonna say again, um, you know what? Let's let's do a contour cutting on this shape. Maybe it's a maybe it's a custom shaped post and panel sign. I think that might be nice. Or you know, better yet, ticketed corners. That's a that's that's very common. We'll do a ticketed corner one, where the order uh, the corners of the sign are 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 cut out. All right. So here in this example, we are actually gonna do a labor rate. So we're gonna select hourly shop rate. And we are going to install this, but I'm going to install this with one guy and a helper. I think it's important that we send out one guy and one helper. And this sign is going to last, uh, let's see, five to seven years sounds about right. We're going to select outside use and mounting style. We're going to select poles. Okay. All right. Uh, the only other question that you might ask your customers if there's an existing post and panel sign currently on the property that needs to be removed. And if it does, you would just select this button and it would charge accordingly. So we're going to hit save again. And it's going to bring us to the build and materials page again. But this time we're going to make some changes because it's only ch uh, calculating one of the gothic caps. And we need to actually make that to say two. So we're going to because we're going to put this on two posts. And we're going to change the wood posts to two as well. Okay. And the last thing that we're going to change here is uh, the installation hours. Okay, so we're going to go in here and we're going to bill for, uh, let's say, three hours for the installation. And to actually put the sign together, to assemble it in the shop, to cut out the corners, to mount the prints to both sides of the substrate, and to... Um, you know, properly actually do your quality control and put your sign into production. We're going to say that this whole thing also will probably take three hours as well. Okay. So there you have it. Now we're, uh, we got a price here at 1580 and our cost is 816. We have a decent markup here of, uh, 93% which I think is a very good markup for this particular product. You can actually see everything right here, how much you're spending in materials, how much you're spending in labor, and I'm sorry, how much the how much it costs in uh, how much it costs for the materials, how much it costs for labor, and how much the actual material is costing you as well. We'll hit X here and we'll see here. The only thing that you might want to consider changing here is the title. It's going to remain digital print on substrate. So we can go back in and we'll hit edit. And we're just going to say post and panel sign. And 
we'll hit save and close. So now you have it. Now it's going to say post and panel sign, 4x8, okay, uh, 4x8 standard printing on one inch comicel. Uh, with ticketed corners, with your hourly shop rate, and your installation is all included here, and you're giving the customer everything that they need in this estimate here for fifteen eighty and ninety cents. So there's a little bit of a um, of an interesting way this particular product can be used. It can be used for small items like poster signs. It can also be used as a skew for post and panel signs, and you can also get as custom as you want with it as well. So there you have it, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this product. Um, I'm going to make this product readily available. And just for those of you that are wondering how you can get this product, we're going to go here into POS settings under pricing and products. Okay, and we're going to hit actions and we're going to click on copy products. And here you would type in the word substrate. Okay, and look for the ones that are going to say uh, shop box on here and we'll be putting that up at the end of this video so you'll see that very shortly and that's how you're going to get these products that we're doing uh, as a demo for you to use and the purpose of you using them is to download them and make them ready for your shop you're going to change the materials that are working for your shop you're going to change the, the hourly rates you're going to change what you want to offer inside of those selections that is good for your shop this was working for our shops and uh, what works for ours might not work for yours so it's best that you take a quick look at this before you actually uh, make it live in your system all right, everybody, I'm Peter Kroonis from Shopbox. Let me know if you want to see any other particular products that are uh, going to be useful for your shop. And I'd be happy to create them and make them downloadable for you as well. I wish you all the best and stay positive out there.